I am here in San Antonio, Texas, about to speak at a conference on reinventing public education. And it's unfortunate that you can't talk about public education in America today without confronting the scourge of gun violence. One of my favorite books as a kid, and again when I was teaching middle school, is To Kill a Mockingbird. And in it, Atticus Finch turns to his son Jim at one point and says, I want you to see what real courage is, instead of getting the idea that it's a man with a gun in his hand. Real courage is knowing your lick before you begin, but you see it through, no matter what. You rarely win, but sometimes you do. The students in Parkland, Florida, who have turned from victims to activists and their peers across the country are examples of real courage. And I think despite the odds, they're gonna win. Only a few days have gone by in 2018 when we haven't been racked by the tragedy that is school shootings. It's become an American epidemic and these students remind us that we all have a part to play to rid our schools and communities of gun violence. I have drafted a resolution at the Board of Education calling on Congress to immediately adopt common sense gun safety measures. It also calls on us to reflect at the school district uh, on our own safety plans and ensure that we are doing everything in our power to keep students safe. While Congress has completely abdicated their responsibility to do so, and as a result, we have students as young as 12 who are bringing guns to schools, we will continue to ensure that our schools are places where students can learn safely and peacefully. And I'm actually off to Washington, D.C. in two weeks to advocate on Capitol Hill for immediate gun control. The Parkland students remind us, though, that we can follow our darkest hours with our brightest opportunities for change. And I remain hopeful that this generation, kids who are in classrooms today, will be the ones that teach us what real courage is. And I'm grateful to their teachers for supporting them as well. As I visit schools every week, I'm reminded of something Bobby Kennedy once said, which is, let us dedicate ourselves to what the Greeks wrote so many years ago, to tame the savageness of man and make gentle the life of this world. Let us dedicate ourselves to that and support our students as they stand up to be the last generation who will confront school shootings and ensure that America's schools can be places where students thrive safely and peacefully. I have their backs and I appreciate us all supporting our, our young people at this critical moment. Thank you.